gas laws. Relationship between temperature, pressure, and volume. The three main gas laws are Boyle's law on pressure and volume, Charles' law on temperature and volume, and Gay-Lussac's law on pressure and temperature. Boyle's law. When the temperature and the amount of gas particles are kept constant, as you increase the pressure, the volume will decrease. As the pressure goes down, the volume actually goes up. They have an inverse relationship. Charles' law. When the pressure and the amount of gas particles are kept constant, as you increase the temperature, the volume will also increase. So as you can see, as the volume goes up, the temperature also goes up. They have a directly proportional relationship. Gay-Lussac's law. When the volume and the amount of gas particles are kept constant, as you increase the pressure, the temperature will also increase. As you can see, as the pressure goes up, the temperature also goes up. They also have a directly proportional relationship. So Boyle's law is on pressure and volume, Charles' law, temperature and volume, and Gay-Lussac's law on pressure and temperature. Calculating the gas laws. Boyle's law, Charles' law, and Gay-Lussac's law all have certain formulas to follow. For Boyle's law, the pressure of a 500 helium balloon is increased from 330 to 600. If the temperature is kept constant, what will the balloon's new volume be? Let's see what we're given and plug it in. The first pressure is 330, the first volume is 500, the second pressure is 600, and the second volume, we don't know. So 330 times 500 equals 600 times V. 165,000 equals 600 times V. Divide both sides by 600, and that'll give us V is 275. So the new volume is 275 milliliters. Charles Law. A sample of neon gas occupies a volume of 650 at 50 degrees Celsius. What volume will the gas occupy if the temperature is lowered to 30 degrees and the pressure remains constant? Let's see what we're given, and then let's plug it in. The first volume is 650, the first temperature is 50, the second volume we don't know, and the second temperature is 30. So 650 divided by 50 equals V divided by 30. That gives us 13 equals V over 30. We need to get rid of that 30, so we're gonna multiply it on both sides. That'll give us 390 equals V. So the new volume is 390 milliliters. Gay-Lussac's law. A container of gas has a pressure of five at 20 degrees Celsius. What will the pressure be if the temperature rises to 40 degrees Celsius and the volume remains constant? Let's see what we're given. And let's plug it in. The first pressure is 5, the first temperature is 20, the second pressure we don't know, and the second temperature is 40. 5 divided by 20 equals P over 40. 0 0.25 equals P over 40. We want to get rid of that 40, so we're going to actually multiply 40 by both sides, giving us 10 equals P. So the new pressure is going to be 10 atm. You can also use the universal gas law formula to solve the gas law problems. Simply cross out what is constant, insert what you're given, then solve for the unknown. 
So with Boyle's Law, we cross out temperature. Charles Law, cross out pressure. And Gay-Lussac's Law, cross out volume. When you do that, you look at the formulas that we're used to. Let's review. Boyle's Law is inverse, it's pressure and volume. Charles Law, temperature and volume is directly proportional. Gay-Lussac's Law, pressure and temperature, directly proportional. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.